there is new version of GZ Doom out, and so this is going to be a tutorial of how to upgrade your old GZ Doom to your new GZ Doom. So you down you download it, and then uh, extract extract the whole kit and caboodle. Uh, I'll just put that there for now. Okay, so now we have this the new GZ Doom we just downloaded, and this is my old GZ Doom with all all my files and things that I want to I want to keep. So if you got a skins folder and you got some some stuff in there that you want to keep, you put that, drag that in there. Um, your INI file, if you've screwed with that at all, you could want to back that up. Um, I'm gonna go with the fresh start here and, and set everything up m myself from scratch. Um, any mods you got? PK3s. Uh, there's like make full conversion mod type things. Uh, you want to back those up too. These four, these come with GZ Doom. You just leave those in there. Uh, the, your, your Doom mods, you want to keep all those, obviously. And the saves, uh, the auto saves, uh, you can back up if you want them. I don't really need to use the auto saves, so I'll just. All these are all the regular saves, your quick saves, if you use the quick save, like F6 thing, or in your manual saves, and all that. You want your saves. Saves are important, right? So you get that, and you can throw that in your trash bin. Goodbye. Um, now let's fire up GZ Doom for the first time. Uh, you first launch GZ Doom 3.5.0, you get this little thing. It's like, hey, we want your system information. It's anonymous. Send it to the GZ Doom team and help them uh, develop the GZ Doom better, maybe. So if you're a good person, click yes. If you're a bad person, click no. Jerk. Starts up. Sounds could be real loud. So first thing I'm going to do is go and turn, yeah, turn that right down. And it's Give, give a little bit of juice, maybe, so you can... The sounds are cool. All right, so uh, to set up the first time, if you got... I, I got a, a 4670K, an Intel i5 4670K, like 16 gigs of RAM, and a, a 1080, just a regular old 1080. Uh, so these are the settings I use if you got a similar system. Uh, it's, it's all personal preference, but this is, this is how I make Doom look good. Um, with 3.0... 5.0 GZ Doom. Uh, it starts in full screen mode, so you don't need to screw with that right off the bat anymore. That's nice. Um, so you know, let's start from the top here. C customize controls. Uh, you want to delete all these. This is all. It's all bad. I don't know why they still have all these this weird controller things as default. Oh, one thing I should do is uh, yeah, there we go. So back in the controllers. Uh, yeah. Delete all that. Um, show scoreboard. That's where you want to stop. That's where I stop anyway. So get all your keys set up good. How you like them. It's all just however you like them. There's no right or wrong answers here. I mean, the ones I'm doing right here. These are the best, but you can do. You do you. It's all. It's all good. Uh, mouse options. Uh, I turn the cursor to system cursor because it's easier to find on the screen. I find the default kind of blends in sometimes. It's a, I don't know. It's, I like the default system cursor. Uh, yeah, uh, I got a high DPI mouse, so it lower my overall sensitivity. And always mouse look. Of course, you want that on. Everything else you don't really need to screw with. Player setup. Um, turn the auto aim all the way all the way down because you're better than that. Um, switch on pickup, it's switch weapon on pickup, so if you pick up like a weapon that's better than the one you got in your, you already got, then it switches, I don't like that. I, don't, I switch my own weapons, thank you. And always run on, of course. Um, gameplay options, don't need to screw with that. Compatibility options, that's fine too. HUD options, you want to crack that open and at the top go into scaling options. And then for messages, I like to turn that up to about three or four. Uh, it makes like when you pick up items and when you get like the little system message things and if you're playing co-op it also affects the size of like the 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 the, the words on the screen because uh, if you've got a 1080p if you're running a 1080p or higher it's kind of hard to see sometimes so you turn that up uh, console I find that's just fine though um, status bar you want to click left there to scale to, to full screen and then preserve the aspect ratio so your textures don't get smushed and then that's good. Back out to uh, display options. Here we go. It's the big boy stuff. Uh, screen size, I set that to 11 just so it was easier to read stuff there. But 
Uh, I mean, that's affects your screen size. 11 gets you the new HUD. Uh, 10 is the old school HUD. Uh, and yeah, that's again, that's personal preference. V-Sync, you want to leave that off unless you're getting screen tearing. You can turn that on. Um, fuzz effect, I'll get into this more in just a second here. Uh, blood type, you want to go particles and puff type uh, particles. Because it's the, it looks the same as sprites and particles are a lot easier on your system. Uh, menu dim down to zero. So you can see kind of what changes you're making in the background there a lot easier. And uh, yeah, that's it for the first screen. Then we go to OpenGL renderer. Uh, sector light mode, uh, apparently uh, standard is the most like true to old, no, not standard, software. Software is the one that's like most true to the, the original Doom. Um, I find it's a bit dark for some mods, so if you're using like a really dark mod, standard or bright, it's it's, it's fine. Uh, fog mode, I turn to radial. Uh, doesn't really make a big difference, but it makes things a bit darker around the edges. So it's like your little orb of light around you. It's, I don't know, it's cool. Uh, just sprite clipping, I put that on always by default, like in the original Doom, the sprites are like half in the ground, because the way it rendered, you could always see the full sprite anyway, you could see like through the ground kind of, it's kind of weird. So I just turned it on always, smart is a good option, always is a good option, smarter is, it, I mean it sounds smarter, but always is fine, it's fine. Smooth sprite edges, turn on, fuzz style, uh, I'll get back to that in a minute again. Particle style, smooth, uh, I'll get back to that one as well. Rendering quality quality multi sampling um, if you have like a 1080 ti and a brand new i7 you crank that up to 32 and roll those dice um, even with my i got like i said i got a, a 2670 i5 4670k um, and uh and a 1080 just a regular 1080 and uh on some levels if there's like a lot of enemies with the multi sampling up to 32 I go down like one FPS and it's just it's brutal. 16, um, it's that's a reasonable setting I think. But if you're getting lag, if you're getting like a lot of FPS drops, this is the first one you want to turn just right down to off if uh, if you're experiencing FPS issues. I'll leave that on 16 though. Uh, bloom effect on, lens distortion on, ambient occlusion up to high, FXAA. I don't think this this if if you use the multi sampling, I don't think this affects anything. So if you turn multi-sampling off, FXA is just like a different multi-sampling. It doesn't look quite as good, but it's fine. So just turn that on to extreme, it's, it's good. Um, and then in texture options. Texture filter mode, I turn that to none because we used the high res texture mode. Uh, Antiscopic up to 16. And a high quality resize. I like XBRZ uh, X2. I can, here, I can show you. Get, let's get into this here. Uh, you know what? Turn God mode on first so these guys don't just shoot me. Okay, let's let's get a good view of there. There we go. Let's so uh texture options. So I'll just go through these like one time, kinda show you what they do. Get a good look at these guys here. See what these all do. I remember back in the day, HQX4, that was that was where you wanted to be. But uh, lately I've been using this one, XBRZX2, or 2X. Um, it's good. It's, it's a good mix between like the new blending style with the you know a bit of the anti-alias thing and all that jazz. But you, get, you still get the old school like pixely looking, and that feels good to me. That's what I like to play Doom for. Um, the XBRZX4, that one like looks you know quote unquote the best. But to me, it looks kind of like they're all just like mashed up clay bits. It looks better from a distance. This, these guys are pretty right up in my face. Um, but I like, uh, I don't know what the XBRZ holds. I don't even know why those are in there. It looks weird. But um, two, X2, that's that's what I like. Uh, Pre-cache, uh, yes. And sort draw list by texture, uh, sure. I'm not exactly sure what those do, but that's fine. Um, here, I'll show you what the particles do. I can spell right. Oops. Nope. Hit. There we go. Yeah. Shoot me again. All right. So see those little like blood dots there? That's the uh, particle style. Smooth makes them kind of opaque a little bit, or transparent, the opposite of opaque. 
and fuzzy on the edge, which kind of looks kind of weird sometimes. Uh, square looks like flat square. It's like the old school like quake kind of look. I find it looks like kind of like you're shooting fatty at them sometimes though. Round is round. I don't know. It's weird. Who uses that? Weirdos. Um, so smooth. That's. A, I mean, it's good. It looks looks better from a distance. I find. But uh, that's fine. And then uh, the other one, the fuzz effect. So I'm going to spectre there. It's one of those invisible pinks. So um, the fuzz effect, uh, there's fuzz, which has a lot more options. Um, by default, the fuzz is set to shadow, which looks exactly like shadow effect there. I can't tell the difference. I don't know if you can. And then there's uh, translucent, which looks kind of cool, but it's they're really easy to see. And I think that's kind of like not the point. I like the invisible type guys. So if you leave this on fuzz effect, and then you go up to back in the OpenGL renderer up there, and then you got uh, where is this fuzz? This fuzz fuzz style right there. Fuzz style. Um, shadows, like I said, it's the default. I'll just go through these one at a time. You can kind of see what they do. This I use translucent fuzz most of the time, especially with the multi sampling. It looks it looks pretty good. It's a little bit fuzzy. There's kind of like a banding effect. It's kind of hard to see, but they're about half as transparent as the transparent setting is. So they're they're really sneaky sometimes. Uh, there's a couple more settings here. So yeah, so I, I like that on translucent fuzz. You can play around with it. It's all personal preference, whatever you like. And uh, I think that's good for just just regular old old Doom. Uh, and now we load up. Uh, the Brutal Doom. So quit out of there. And there's a couple ways to load Brutal Doom. Um, the easiest way is just drag your Brutal Doom PK3 right onto GZ Doom, and that'll load it up just fine. Or if you if you always use Brutal Doom for like everything, like I kind of do, you can crack open your eye and eye there, and then scroll down a little bit, and then under this global auto load thing, um, type in path equals and then uh, your Brutal Doom file name. As long as it's in the same directory, that's all you got to do. If it's in another directory, well, you got to put the whole path in there properly. Uh, so you save that. And now every time I load up GZ Doom, it's going to be uh, Brutal GZ Doom. So there you, you, got, you got your Brutal GZ Doom now. Everything's all. You got your new Brutal HUD and a uh, nice little warning because we haven't set up our options yet. So you uh, go into the Brutal Doom options once you loaded up Brutal Doom performance options. Uh, and you want to turn your, your wall decals and your, your gibs and your bloods up a little bit. You crank those all the way up. It's not going to make a huge difference. I use the janitor uh, anyway, so you're never going to get like. 50,000 gibs and blood pools and 99999 the wall decals. So, uh, especially if you don't have like uh, a really new and good processor, just turn that down to about 2,000. That's fine. It's, it looks good. Uh, Brutal Doom, uh, blood amounts on extreme because that's why you're playing Brutal Doom, right? Water ripple effect looks kind of weird sometimes, so I turn it off. And if you go into your level options, another thing that's kind of weird I'd like to turn off is footstep sounds because there's like a delay and sometimes they like stack and so you'll be running around and it's like and it's, oh, it's, it's bad. So right now it's, it doesn't work good, I find, so I turn it off. Um, and then the last thing you got to do is back into your control options all the way down at the bottom there. Uh, you want your uh, roll left and roll right keys and since I set um, my use key to F, which is the default for flashlight, I gotta set a flashlight key to E. And then that's good. Everything else is fine. You just leave it. Go in there, take a look for yourself, give it a little little bit more attention than I just did. And then uh Yeah, you're you're good. That's that's all you need to do. You got your Doom set up and you can play it and it's gonna look great. You're gonna have a lot of fun, maybe. Uh so I guess that's it for this. Uh if I got anything wrong, please feel free let me know or if there's something I could change or something I could do better or you know any of that uh, you know just uh, you know, leave a comment or uh, message me on, on YouTube or Steam or Snapchat or Twitter or Facebook or Grindr or Tumblr or LinkedIn or any of those so you just, you know, send me just a text or an email or you can write me or whatever 
That's, yep, so that's it. Mm, we're good. See you in hell.